Hello everyone, and welcome back to the lab. In this video, I'll be preparing the molecule that you see here, 4-hydroxybenzoic acid. This is actually quite similar to something else you might have heard of, 2-hydroxybenzoic acid, also known as salicylic acid. Now, personally, I find the process that I use in this video to be much more interesting than the product, and that process is diazotization. That process is where a primary amine reacts with nitrous acid in an acidic solution to produce this diazonium salt you see here. And now this salt has a huge number of uses and you can make many different things starting with the diazonium salt. But me, in this video, I will just decompose it to produce this molecule you see here. Also, a quick word of warning, diazonium salts can be explosive and obviously that's not something you want to happen in the lab. So some things that can increase the risk of explosion are too much nitrite and working in not dilute enough conditions. First, I measured out 3.45 grams of 4-aminobenzoic acid. To this, I added 7.5 milliliters of water and slowly dripped in 5.5 milliliters of concentrated sulfuric acid. With stirring, some water, and ice, I was able to add all of the sulfuric acid. I got this suspension that you see here. At this point, I decided to reduce my scale to one-third of the original idea. I mixed it up and measured out one-third of the total volume, which you can see here. I added this to a 50 milliliter three-neck flask and washed it down with some water, bringing the total volume up to around 20 milliliters. I then measured out 0.6 grams of sodium nitrite in the test tube here, and I added about 2 milliliters of water to dissolve it. While I left that dissolving, I set up an ice bath around my flask. This reaction needs to take place between 0 and 5 degrees Celsius, so I let it cool down as the sodium nitrite dissolved. Once I reached the right temperature, I added the solution of sodium nitrite to the addition funnel and began addition. I had to play with the speed a lot, turning on and off, but eventually got a good rate and could leave it going. While the addition was taking place, I prepared a 50% by volume sulfuric acid solution. Eventually, I added all of the sodium nitrite solution to the flask and everything dissolved. I then let it stir like this for about 15 minutes. After that time, I turned off stirring and let the flask sit here for 5 minutes. I next put the acid solution on a hot plate and put the reaction mixture in an addition funnel above the flask. I started stirring and gentle heating and slowly started dripping in the reaction mixture. I kept it around 60 or 70 celsius and you can see slowly bubbles started to be produced. These bubbles are of course nitrogen gas. The whole addition took about 10 minutes, and it turned yellow, and then eventually went a more um, colorless. When the bubbling stopped, I took the flask off and let it cool to room temperature. I was then pleased to see that a bunch of crystals had formed, and I proceeded to filter them off with vacuum filtration. I was left with this damp powder you see here, which I left overnight to dry and got this in the morning. I packed a bit into a capillary tube and took the melting point of it. I found the melting point to be about 205, which is a little bit low, but it's close enough that I can reasonably say that this is 4-hydroxybenzoic acid.